long time no see. Um, it's been a while since I have filmed. Um, I attempted to film a video last spring summer and never got around to posting it due to some computer issues um, that have just persisted and a lot going on with that. Um, <laughs> A lot going on just life-wise in general um, at the beginning of last year so in March I picked up a puppy which you might be able to kind of hear in this video he's sitting kind of below me um, I'll see baby at the end if I can pick him up and show him to you he's just a sweet little dog um, total terror love him to pieces he's a corgi um, he was born last January and I found him, um, on Facebook. There was a breeder in the area that I've been following for a long time. Um, and I just fell in love with him and, um, yeah, my husband and I were out for dinner one night and, um, I'm like, like, I really want this dog and I'm like, but it would be an impulse purchase. And when he looked, when my husband looked at me and said, it wouldn't be an impulse. You've been talking about this dog forever. Um, I knew I was getting a corgi puppy. Um, so picked him up in March of last year and, um, he's been <laughs> a lot in our lives ever since. Um, you'll, you might hear him throughout the video. Like I said, he's, um, home with me and works with me throughout the day. Um, he just hangs out in my office as I work. Um, yeah. So if you hear some little <laughs> barking and whining, that's him. Um, also, last year, I had a baby. Um, we found out that we were expecting in, also in January of last year. And um, he was born in September and is five months old. Um, I'm filming this on my lunch break. He's currently at daycare. Um, absolute little sweetheart. Yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on life-wise, which is why, like, honestly, last year I was, did not craft much. Um, always did some. I can't not do anything, but, um, definitely did not get anywhere near as much done as I have in past years and have kind of shifted focus a little bit, um, which you kind of, you know, you might notice I did change my name on this. I changed my name on Instagram. I will eventually be changing, updating my blog name um, from Covert Knitter slash the Covert Knitter to Covert Stitches. Um, I am absolutely still knitting, but that is a lot harder with a baby and a dog, um, especially on projects that have longer rows because I have to pick stuff up and put stuff, I have to put stuff down a lot more and walk away. Um, so kind of have fallen back a little bit on the cross stitching bandwagon. Um, my mom, who's the hoopla stitcher on Instagram, go check her out if you don't already. Um, she's a fabulous stitcher and has been stitching my entire life. Um, so it's something that I have done on and off for a very long time. Um, I mean, my oldest whip is actually quite old. Um, because I do do it kind of on and off. Um, we'll talk about that one in a little bit because I did actually get a lot of work done on that this summer. Um, yeah, and then I have a basket full of projects I'm working on as well as some more over here. And I want to talk about um, what my weekly, what my goals for this week are. Because um, I'm feeling like maybe if I set some like goals weekly for myself and they're just, some of them are little, um, that'll maybe get a little bit more done. So, I am thinking let's maybe start with some of my whips and then um, I'll do kind of like the ones that I don't have any goals for first and then um, I'll f maybe finish up with the whips that I do have a weekly goal for and then I do have I think one thing one like haul item um because I mean I've been buying a ton but like trying to organize how much I've purchased is like not not gonna happen um but yes I did purchase a lot of stash stuff and just a lot of project stuff um in the last year that was kind of honestly one of my main hobbies was um purchasing craft things you know if you can't actually make things might as well you know buy things to make things in the future Okay, so I am going to start with 
this I did actually get some work done on this in the last year because um it's easy to do I don't need a ton of focus for it but it is the little needlepoint canvas that I've shown before um it's this flamingo it is meant to be a an eyeglass case when I am done you can kind of see in the back how much I've got done um yeah so I just kind of keep pulling this out and working on it here and there and that will kind of continue it just kind of hangs out and when I don't really have the energy to do anything else that's kind of what I gravitate towards it will get done when it gets done that's kind of where we are at with a lot of projects right now um something else that I'm not planning on working on this week is this chart and this one was influenced by um when I found it they were still the stitchy friends and now Sarah is doing videos on her own there's a couple of inspiration pieces from um her and this is the blue flower magpie in the moon and I do actually have a pretty solid start on this um yeah, so the bird is almost done. I think there's like one little line of black that I have to do in here and then the legs. Um, but I needed just another strand of black from my skein, so I just haven't grabbed that yet. Um, and then I have the upper branch is um, complete. I just have to do like the flowers and leaves on it. And then I have the moon started. You can't really see that very well, but it is started. So... I'm working on that and then another one that I don't have plans to work on this week I'm actually I grabbed a bunch of these patterns um, and I did finish one of them I'll probably that one is in a box above me so I probably won't show that one until next time but I did finish that one's the sweet shop but they are the little house needleworks um hometown holiday series and right now i am working on main street station i have i have a bunch of these and they're kitted another one that i have like kitted and ready to go is the florist you can kind of see some of the um floss and fabric in there i am using all of the called for colors both dmc and classic color works and I have a fairly good start on this one as well. Again, this one is Main Street Station. Um, next time I film, I will show the sweet shop. Um, I have a box of stuff that needs to get like fully finished, but is finished above me. There's just a couple things in there right now, but um, it's just a way for me to organize. So I do plan on finishing this still this year, even though it's a Christmas piece. Like I don't, I can't leave it unfinished that long. Um, so there's a couple other Christmas ones I want to, there's another Christmas one I want to finish this year and I might not start any more Christmas pieces, um, but I will finish the ones I'm currently working on. Okay, I think. Okay, and then we'll talk about my big whip that I've been working on for quite a while. I'm not going to necessarily go through all of my knitting whips because there's a lot and they're kind of hiding all over the place. Um, but I am still working on and have been working on. This one is an older one. I started this, I think, back in 2015. Um, and then there's been a lot of years where I just didn't touch it. And last year with the puppy and being pregnant, I did actually pull this out and get quite a bit of work done. So this is, um, little, again, Little House Needleworks Old Man Tuck It. And, um, previously, and I'm sure you, if you want to look at my old video, I know that I had pulled this out before. Again, I'm not sure on the fabric on this one. Um... I do know it's 32 count. I don't know what color it is, um, but I do know that I'm using all of the called for flosses and I have the ship completed and the um, water completed and I'm starting kind of below the ship with some of um, like the stars and things like that. Um, I actually did a lot of the water 
this summer and um, finished out the ship and the sails. So I did actually do quite a bit of work on this this summer, um, even though I didn't film anything. And maybe next time I will be organized enough to iron some of these things. But uh, that was not going to happen today, um, especially because as I was about to film this, my computer died. So I'm actually filming on my phone. We're going to see how that goes. So I'm going to kind of keep pulling that out and working on that. Um, Cause I would like, to, I would like to finish it. I do still really love that piece. And then we're going to go into the cross stitch pieces that I do have a couple of goals for this week. Um, and then we'll do the knitting projects that I have goals for. And then I think there's one or two that are close enough that I can reach that I can show you, even though, um, they're also still whips. Cause again, I did not get much done last year. Um, yeah, so there is that. Oh, and I do have a cross stitch finish, like a fully finished object that I did grab too. So maybe I'll talk about that one at the end. Um, yeah, so let's start with this one. And this is the 2022 Wee Santa. Um, so I did the 2023 Wee Santa, which I will show that is actually my fully finished object. I did that as part of the Stitchy Friends Stitch Along for the 2023 Wee Santa. Um, so I'll show him at the end, but I also really liked the 2022 Santa and um, I borrowed the 2021 Santa from my mom. I haven't started it yet, but she was like not ready to do it. Um, that pattern is like over in my chaos. Um, but there is actually a picture of him on the back of this. So I'll show him too. So I'm going to do that one as well. And actually what I'm going to do with these is, um, stitch one for each of like the family members in my house. And, um, I'll kind of explain that more when we get there. But, um, so I have him and this is on a piece of R and R linen. I'm not entirely sure what color it is. My mom gave me some linen to work on, but I have him started, um, I have most of the Santa done. There's a couple little spots that I need and I'm working on some of the presents over here and the trees. Um, and I have the body of the garland at the top done. And actually my goal on this for the week is to finish the garland. Um, and I might also try to finish the Santa just cause I have the face and like one little section on his jacket down here to finish. Um, but yeah, I might try to finish his face and I would like to finish the garland on this. So, and then the other cross stitch piece I'm working on and trying to, I'm actually going to try to fully finish this this week is this little guy. Um, there is no pattern picture at this point, um, because I designed it myself. Um, and this is going to be a little Valentine Corgi and I plan on doing a little pillow finish with this. Um, and like I said, I'm trying to finish this this week and I will update you guys on that one soon. So I'm just going to plop him over there for now. So, um, yeah, let's get in. That's some of my cross stitching that's going on. I think that is all of my cross stitching whips. Not 100% sure, but I think that's all of them. Uh, like I said, I am going to try to finish the um, Wee Santa that I'm currently working on and the um, hometown holiday Main Street Station that I'm working on. And then after that, I won't start any new Christmas ones until next year. But I do kind of want to finish those because they're just, they're small and um, I just don't necessarily want them like lingering around forever. Um, so yeah, let's get in to knitting. Um, I have two knitting projects I want to work on and have goals for this year or this, um, week. Uh, this I want to finish and this is a little cardigan for my son. Um, I have 
the body completed. So for this, I just need to do the arms and the um, button band slash like the, and that will include the neck on this. And let me grab the pattern. This pattern is, let me find the name. This is the Baby Asta cardigan. And I don't know that I have. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking for like the main part of the pattern. I don't remember who this is by. And I might not have printed the cover page, but this is the Baby Asta cardigan. I will link it in my description bar and I will, um, post who it is by sometimes a lot of times when I print stuff I don't print the first or last like pages that have all of the information I need to get better at printing those but um this is the baby Asta cardigan um I'm currently knitting it in the nine month size and this yarn is Plymouth Yarn Quaker Hill um, it is a 50% Highland Wool, 50% Alpaca blend. Um, this is a DK weight, and I do know that the Baby Asta patterns are um, in the DK weight, and I know there is adult versions of these patterns. I'm not sure the weight on those, but the baby versions are in a DK. Um, because I actually, we'll talk about that sort of in a second, but I did knit the pullover version, um, before my son was born and actually before we even, um, knew what, if we were having a boy or a girl. Um, so I'll talk about that sweater in a minute. Um, it had an unfortunate ending, um, which we'll talk about, but, um, this is in the color 15 Blue Jay. It is a gorgeous blue. Um, yes, was that I think? I personally feel like I would use also for a girl if we ever have another baby and have a girl. Um, so this is, this is the original and this is the Aus baby Asta. Um, I'm not sure if it is the pullover or is this called the baby Asta, but it is slash was a pullover and it was adorable. I will try to insert a picture of my son wearing it. We'll see if I can figure out how to insert a picture. Um, it had some really cute little wood buttons on it that um, my dog very much enjoyed chewing off of um, this sweater. Thankfully, um, this was the three month size and my son had basically outgrown it, um, but it was an adorable sweater. This is knit, this is also a Plymouth yarn. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I can find that and link that below. Um, and I do know that this was a super wash merino wool. Um, so it is nice and soft, but, um, the color name for this is cilantro. Um, yeah. And it was just a really pretty, like, like green color. So that one kind of met an unfortunate end. Um, but like I said, on the nine month version, I, my goal is to finish that this week so he can start wearing it. He's currently five months, um, so going to start fitting into that six to nine month category of clothing, so it'll be a good time for him, and he'll be able to wear that this spring. And then the um, next sweater I knit him will probably be like a year, 18 month size, which is just absolutely crazy because I won't probably knit him one for over the summer. Um, but uh, the new one I'm knitting him is a, like I said, a 50-50 um, Highland wool alpaca blend. It is not washable. Um, and honestly, when I went to pick out the yarn, I had, was talking to the owner of that yarn shop that I went to and I'm like, yeah, like super wash would be nice. And she's like, okay, but like, you've already knit him one sweater. Did you ever throw it in the washing machine? And the answer was no. Um, I just handed it. Like I handed all of my knits. It's one item of clothing. It's not like he has a fully hand knit wardrobe. Um, so it's not a big deal for me to quickly hand wash one little, um, knit sweater. So I'm just not super concerned about that. Um, 
yeah and then the other knit project I am working on and have a goal for let me see if there's a picture of this one in the pattern somewhere that's what I have is the zig cardigan by andrea maori um this one i know this one i started as a um knit along absolutely failed i started this knit along like right as we found out that i was pregnant so that just didn't didn't happen um i do not have a good picture of it if i find one on, when i find one online i will try to again put it in the video not sure that it will end up there but um my goal for this sweater this week is to finish the front yoke um so i know i've talked i feel like i've talked about this one i don't know if i've talked about this one previously um but this is my zig sweater the purpley yarn um is a Plymouth yarn I'm not 100% sure what the name of it is and I don't think I have a tag handy I do not um but this the purple is actually recycled yarn and then um the peachy and blue colors are what the pattern actually calls for the Biche Bouche Le Lambs Wool. Um, the blue color is soft blue green. I would have to look and see what the peach color is. I'll link that information below. I believe, I know this purple is still available and I want to say it might be Plymouth Highland it's either like Highland Wool or Highland Worsted. I'm not 100% sure. I do know it is a Plymouth and I do know that this color is, I believe, called denim and it is like kind of a really dark blue, slightly heathered purple color. Um, but I actually did a really good job matching. I'm actually very happy with it online and you can kind of see up close. It's actually a fairly, like it's looking fairly good from my perspective here. Um, but it kind of almost has some of that like light blue and that kind of like peachy color in here as well. Um, so I'm actually really happy kind of with how that looked for my little pops of color there. Um, so like I said, I will link the color names and stuff below, but I have knit the bottom part in the round that was done and I did, um, split for the front and the back. So I have been working on the yoke for this. Um, the blue line is kind of where that started and that's just like a lifeline that I have in here. Um, and we're going from there. I need to get up to four and three quarters inches. I do not see a ruler over here, but I feel like I'm right at about three inches on this. So my goal is just to get up to that four and a quarter or and three quarters inches, um, this week on this sweater. So I feel like that's an attainable goal. We'll find out. Um, you know, I hope to be updating this on Instagram kind of as I go. One thing I have started using in the last year with a puppy and a baby um, is the needle stoppers. I haven't used needle stoppers like this since I started knitting. Um, I maybe used them for like the first year I was knitting and then kind of stopped because I just, I knit fast enough and didn't really have problems with it. But again, with picking up and putting things down as much as I am, I have started using these again. Um... I don't have the bag for those, but let me look in this one because I know there's some in here as well. That, um, the little, my, my son's little sweater is not currently on, um, needles because I, like, cast off the bottom edge and, um, need to pick up for the arms. So I'm going to do that. But these are Stitch Stoppers by Fox and Pine Stitches, and I got these at Cream City Yarn, um, yeah so that that's where i got those um yarn i get all over the place i ordered i know like like i said for this the purple was recycled from a sweater my mom made that didn't never fit right it was i think the way she said it was it was like the ever growing sweater and like it had cables and stuff in it but it just kept getting bigger and bigger so she took it apart washed the yarn um put it in balls and it was just sitting and she asked me if i wanted it and i um took it and now it's getting turned into this 
I know the Biche Bouche, um, I ordered online, um, but then I do shop at a lot of yarn stores all over the country. Um, if I travel, I, I, I like to refer to it as destination yarn shopping. Um, and I've been doing that for a long time. So those are kind of like the four projects that I want to work on. Again, it's the little corgi design that I've made for myself and been working on. I want to finish. So I want to finish that and fully finish that into a pillow. I want to finish the sweater for my son so that he can start wearing it. And I want to finish the yoke on this and the garland on my, the wee Santa that I'm currently working on. Um, yeah. So a couple other whips that I have that are close enough for me to reach. I don't know if I've talked about this one at all and I don't, it's not, there's not much to look at on this one. Um, I do need to get some stitch stoppers on this as well, but this is the start of a striped half and half triangles wrap. Um, which I will probably occasionally talk about and maybe I'll do a video talking about some of like these ones too currently and I know there's a couple different yarns that I have um picked out this is a Brooklyn Tweed I'm not sure how to say that Peary I do know there's several skeins of this and this is in the color um muslin so far there's several skeins of this in this project I have no idea where the rest of the yarn for this went I know it is probably somewhere on my like pile of chaos because I have been organizing my craft room which eventually I would like to do a tour of but we need to finish organizing first it's getting it's getting a lot better slowly but surely um slowly but surely but um when we we had to make a nurse we had to make like a room nursery for my son which he's sleeping in and we very much appreciate it so I had to take my office we moved um the bed that was in that room in here. So this is now like my office guest room craft room. It's, it's doing a lot. It's doing a lot. Um, yeah, but I do spend quite a bit of time in here. So I have been like reorganizing and I've gone through a ton of stuff and like tried organizing things differently and making things more logical. Like some new like Ikea pieces even that have been organizing. Um, cause I do a lot of craft stuff. So, um, it's kind of a mess in here still, but like it is a very much work in progress. Um, and then eventually I plan on having some of my friends that are crafty over to kind of raid my stash and see what they want before figuring out what to do with the rest of it. So, and then I have this close by, which I need to finish this because then I can also maybe write up a, write up the pattern for this. But this has been just kind of like my little travel um, knit for a long time. And I found a stitch pattern on Pinterest, actually, is where I found the stitch pattern. Just kind of cast on some stitches and have been working on this since. Um, I started this when I was in Kansas City because I uh, forgot to bring my knitting project with me. Um, and yeah, so I've been working on that for a long time. I do know I've talked about it in previous videos. So I will link what I'm using for the yarn below, but um, I'm not going to dig that out right now, um, especially since I've talked about that before. And then another project that I haven't unfortunately gotten a ton of work done on is I am still working on the Pink Fizz sweater. And that's the Pink Fizz sweater. Um by Drea Renee Nets. Um Drea Drea. Uh, um yeah, so I'm still working on that. That one's kind of like tucked behind me in the chair that I'm in over here. So those are kind of what I'm working on. That one's gonna take a long time for me to get back to because it is a very challenging product project. Um yeah, so that's kind of what I am working on as I have time. Um, the one thing I ordered, I ordered from Amazon, and this is for, I'm hoping to use this for the old Nantucket, is these magnetic cord tamers. And I got like, I got a pack of 20 of them um, just on Amazon. Just to try. And they are... 
they're magnetic and I'm hoping to help kind of control my fabric a little bit with these. Um, they're very strong magnets. Um, but to help kind of manage my fabric on bigger projects, um, because I feel like I've talked about this in a video before, but I do, we, you know, we think I have rheumatoid arthritis, um, and like it, it does make in an attempt to make my hands feel better. That's also why for most of my pr knitting projects, as much as possible, um, and it's not always possible, like this one are needles that I got long before I found this style of needle. Um, but I use the Addy Turbo Cubed, I believe they're called. Let me kind of adjust this a little bit. Um, but they're a square needle and they have like these ridges on them, but I do find that they're a little bit easier for me to grip and that, um, my hands don't feel quite as fatigued as I'm working. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how to do that with like larger projects. Um, with little cross stitch projects, it doesn't bother me too much, but like the bigger ones, it definitely, um, I notice it more in my hands. Um, so I got those like cable mine like keeper things to kind of try with that and I'll report back and let you know how that goes next time I work on my old Nantucket piece. Um, so I think the one last thing I have to talk about is my fully finished object and this is the 2023 Wee Santa that I did as part of the Stitchy Friends sale. So there he is. I did the call for colors. This is on some R and R fabric. I again, I don't know what it is. My mom um, gave me the fabric in part of the floss for this. Um, some things I did do is I did add the year and I added my son's initials to this, and then I fully finished it into this little box and I got this tin I couldn't find boxes that I liked that was a whole thing it took me a long time to find a box that I liked but these are just like a Christmas tin um and I ended up getting these at um Joanne Fabrics and I did I did pick up four of them um just to have extra and to finish um, they do come out around Christmas time and then I mounted him so I just mounted him to a piece of board and then did another like plaid behind it and then finished with some this is this was yarn I got it Joanne fabrics as well I don't remember the color name but it is kind of um, sparkly too kind of oh yeah you can kind of see that a little bit um, and it was the juicy couture velour yarn and I just kind of glued that onto him as well. And my plan for these is for them. I'm making, like I said, I'm making the 2022, the pink one is going to be for me. And the 2021, which is like yellow, kind of Nordic looking, um, will be for my husband. These are going to go by our advent calendar, which I also, I made out of like a workshop with my, one of my friends. Um, these are going to go by the advent calendar and I'm going to kind of like fill them with little goodies, um, kind of in place of like the store-bought, um, advent calendars. So like if there's something like our son is really into one year, I'll do that or I'll do like candy or snacks and stuff like that. Um, but just kind of to do with in, in, in place of like a different style of advent calendar. Um, <laughs> So that's, I think, everything I have. Um, my dog is sleeping currently. Otherwise, I would wake him up and um, see if he wants to say hi. Hey, Ben. Do you want to come and say hi? Come here. Do you want to come say hi? No? Okay. He's um, very comfortable in his bed right now looking at me. Oh, maybe he's coming. Like, I'm crazy. Oh, are you coming? Come here, bud. Come and see me. Come and say hi. Here. Let's grab you. Oh. oh, this is my dog Bingley. <laughs> um, like I said, he's a corgi. He is just over a year old. He turned a year old in January this year. Um, and he is my little chaotic nugget 
yeah, you, you're chaotic, aren't you? Yeah. He's a little ham. Um, love him dearly. <laughs> he's just, he's like, he's got that puppy energy, but he's a really good dog. Um, and he's going to be a very good dog as he gets older. So that's, that's what I have been, um, busy with over the last year. Um, yeah. So I hope to be able to catch up with you soon. Sorry, I got a piece of dog here in my face. Um, hope to be able to catch up with you guys again soon and make these more of a regular thing again. And, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Are we going to film together, Bing? Um, yeah. And yes, his harness does have corgis on it as well. So that's what I am up to. Yeah. You're not allowed to be the boss. So you gotta, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I hope to catch up soon with some updates. Otherwise I will be trying to update on Instagram more. And Bing would also like to say, um, his full name is Bingley. He, I call him Bing. Um, he would like to say that his Instagram is a corgi named Bing. Um, I will link that down below as well. He's the real star of this show. Um, yeah. And like I said, you can kind of keep up with me on Instagram. Um, it, I am, I think I changed it to covert stitches. I'm not sure if there's a the there or not on, I have no idea where my, oh, I'm recording on my phone. So I can't look it up. Wow. Um, yeah. And I will also link my mom's Instagram below as well. And I will link my blog below and hopefully update soon with that little corgi pattern that I'm working on and let you know kind of how that's all going. So yeah, I hope you have a great day, a great week, and I hope to catch up soon. Bye.